listen, whoever says that a woman cannot have male friends is very insecure. Stop the cat. Simply super very insecure. Tell us how. Tell us how. Because he doesn't want his woman to be surrounded by any male energy. Because he has a small penis. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh, so you want big to throw on you then? That's not it. Sounds like that's it. <laughs> Naturally, I just feel better with men around me. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna make fun of this. Um, but Roger. guy friends, I just what, it's why? it's just simple because it's less drama, it's less talking about your back, it's just literally friendship. Straightforward, nothing. Same. But seriously, this is the tactic that so many women use, and I cover this all the time on my second channel, to shame men into allowing them to do whatever they want. Women like this, when it comes to relationships, are a massive problem. Not only are they a problem for men, but women as well, because most likely she either feels threatened by them or they see her as a threat because she wants to be friends with her boyfriends and that sort of thing. Most women don't like most other women, which is something I'm gonna go into further detail in my next video, but women are constantly comparing themselves to other women and trying to outdo them. So because of this, a woman like this would much rather spend her time with men who are constantly gonna give her attention and validate her rather than spending her time with women who, like she said, are gonna be talking behind her back, competing with her, and causing friction that she doesn't get with her male relationships. The male friend test. I want a lot of male friends and male companions outside of you with justification that if you don't like this, you're insecure and you're controlling. You're dating a chick or you're taking a girl out on a bunch of dates or you're having like intimacy with her and, but then she wants to justify and say things like, oh, if I talk to 20 other guys and all of a sudden maybe I slept with two to three of them and I keep them on the back burner, but they're just my quote unquote friends. It's okay if I have this and if you don't like that, you're insecure. In that case, here's what you have to understand. Don't commit. Yeah, if you see that a girl you're just casually dating has this type of relationship with many men, then the only options you have in this scenario is to just walk away or have your fun, then run. And let us all know your opinion about this down in the comments and don't forget to click like. I can have a girl that is just a friend. No, listen, 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 listen. Listen. You as a girl can be just a friend to a guy. But it means you're ugly. <laughs> this guy has a point. What are the benefits that a man has from having female friends? Honestly, none. They get to look at them. They get the benefit. Girls, like, like I like my guy friends, but, like, I know in the back of my mind that they would want to f***. So, like, I don't know, like... I love how this girl says that the benefit to the guys that they get to look at them as if that's the reason that they're really in it. That's like saying a man likes keeping steak in the house because he likes looking at it when he opens the fridge. If he thought there was no chance he was ever going to eat it, it wouldn't be there. And the funniest thing about this clip is that the guy standing next to her is her friend. That's not her boyfriend. So this guy's just standing there looking at her like, damn, she's on to me. What are some of the benefits a woman have from having guy friends? Honestly, I don't know. I have to pretend that they don't want to me and I just like we're just a guy friend we're just friends if you guys were walking on the street together and somebody came up and tried to rob you do you expect him to try and protect you yes okay. if he's gonna risk his life for you what's the equal benefit for him having a female friend that's a good question that's a good question what's a good benefit he gets what's a good benefit you potentially get some no oof, not for oof, me oof. That's a rough one, brother. <laughs> I knew it, see? His plan has been foiled. And now, after it's been confirmed from this interview that he's not gonna get any, this relationship will soon be over. But seriously, this interaction just proves that this woman, like most women, they expect men to protect them and give them all the benefits of having a man around, but they wanna offer the man no benefits whatsoever. This is the reason why it's moronic for most men to even have relationships with a woman like this. Now, there actually are benefits to being friends with women, which I'll go into detail later on in this video and explain Lane, but in most cases, the benefits to women far outweigh the benefits to men. All one of your best friends is a guy and they ask him if he wants to f He's gonna say yes. Just if he's ever thought or if he wants to? If he wants to. Hey, I have a question. <laughs> okay, I know, no, don't say oh, just like f listen to me, okay? Okay, so we talked about like all the people that we've like gotten with, but like, do you wanna hook up? Me and who? Me and you. Everybody already thinks we do, so like why not just like fix the rumors? What do you think? 
It would be kind of like funny low key because then like people already think that. <laughs> it would be funny. Funny low key. This cat's acting like her bringing this to his attention now is the first time he's ever thought of this. Like, oh yeah, I never even considered that, but it would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Red flag is when she has guy friends. A lot of times like girls that have a lot of guy friends, they have one foot out the door in a relationship and they have like a lineup waiting for like, oh, if this relationship ends, it's okay because I have all these other guys that are interested in me. There's some rare scenarios where like a guy and a girl are old childhood friends and there's legitimately no sexual tension between them, but almost always when a guy and a girl are friends, there's some degree of sexual tension. And even if the girl's not interested in the guy, a lot of times she likes the validation. Those guys are waiting to swoop in if they can. Yeah, again, I have to agree with these two that there are situations, which I've said many times on my second channel, where a guy and a girl can be friends. But typically, like they said, it's often like a situation where they've been friends since childhood. But like she pointed out, a woman who's willing to give up her friendships and the attention from other men is far more likely to be fully committed in her relationship. So... Uh, basically, my girlfriend has a lot of guy friends, basically, and she tends to be very nice with them, and it often makes me jealous and kind of bitter a little bit and uncomfortable when I see her sitting next to them and hanging out with them. And I guess my question is, how can I deal with getting jealous, and how can I overcome that? Hmm. Have you have you sat down and talked to her about it? Yeah, we've we've talked about this before. How'd that go? It went pretty good. Um, I mean, she's still going to have those friends out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it went real well. If nothing changed after the conversation, it didn't go well. He here's the hard truth I'm going to give you, okay? You can't change her, and you can't change her friendships. The only thing you can deal with here is you. You can decide... I can't date somebody who spends a lot of time with other guy friends um, who may have had, you know, intimate relationships with them in the past. They may have dated in the past. I, I can't do that. And so I am going to make the decision since uh, of, of stating my boundaries firmly. And she can say, great. Well, my boundaries are I am not going to date somebody that tells me I can't have friends of the opposite sex. And then the choice is yours, man. What this guy's saying is exactly right. This is pretty much all you can do. And there's nothing wrong with what he's saying. In fact, he's like a therapist or something. So most likely this is pretty good advice. But the thing I find kind of ironic about this video specifically is that he's telling him to set boundaries and he's saying exactly what you should do. And this is exactly what Jonah Hill did, which we covered in my last video with his girlfriend, where he said, these are my boundaries. It was literally this exact situation. And then once he set his boundaries, there are a bunch of other so-called therapists on TikTok and wherever else, all these losers who want to criticize him and make him out to be this terrible guy for saying that he didn't approve of her behavior in the same way this guy doesn't. And people literally claim that he was using therapy speak to manipulate and control his girlfriend when this guy here, who's a good guy, who's a nice therapist, he's literally suggesting to do this exact thing. Jonah Hill was using therapy speak to control his girlfriend, Sarah, his now ex-girlfriend. And it's important that we go over this misuse of therapy language and how it can be super problematic as it masks controlling behavior under a commonly accepted positive concept, in this case, boundaries, making it harder for the person on the receiving end, Sarah, to challenge it. Okay, so Jonah is basically telling his professional surfer girlfriend, I am not going to be with you if you surf with men, have boundaryless friendships with men. He goes on to say that these are my boundaries for a romantic relationship. Jonah's use of the term boundaries in this message, this is not an example of healthy boundary setting. Instead, it reflects an attempt at control. I can't date somebody who spends a lot of time with other guy friends. I can't do that. And so I am going to make the decision since uh, of, of stating my boundaries, of stating my boundaries, of stating my boundaries firmly. The difference is that this guy is normal and he's actually trying to help people. He doesn't have any sort of agenda where he wants to demonize men who don't approve of this kind of behavior from their girlfriends. Layla had a bunch of dudes who were always hollering. Even on like her birthday, I think she got like two gifts from other dudes. I was like, they were trying to f you. She was like, no, they're just friends. I was like, guys are not going to be friends with girls to be friends with them. I was like, if they want to have a friend, they'll go find a guy. This was like an ongoing, like not in a malicious yeah, way, but it was sure. like almost like a joke throughout like the early days before we got married. The day she changed her marital status, all of them defriended her. And I was like, just saying. It was just like, oh, you're so, so great, awesome stuff, like whatever, like neutral comments. And I was like, oh these guys gosh. are not your friends. They're planting seeds and hoping someday that it'll sprout. Yeah, obviously based on this guy's experience, he's exactly right. And the funny thing about this video, or just about women in general is most of them do know that these guys actually want what they want from them. Like that chick who was being interviewed on the street a moment ago. But a lot of women really are naive and just don't realize men's true intentions.
intentions. And I have some young ladies in my own family who I try to offer guidance about this kind of stuff. And a few months ago, it was funny because she would often tell me about her interactions with boys in school. And given that she's younger, she really hasn't picked up on any of this stuff we're talking about yet. But I told her these guys at school, they don't actually think that you're cool or funny. They literally are only hanging out with you and saying this kind of stuff because they want to get something from you. And the thing she said to me in response was absolutely hilarious. And what she said was, how did you know they all say I'm cool and funny? <laughs> I'm like, how do you think I know? I know from experience, dude. But I just thought that response was absolutely classic because without actually knowing for sure, I was able to predict exactly the things that they were saying to convince her that they actually like her for reasons outside of just nefarious ones. And this is the exact reason why fathers need to be involved in their daughter's lives. And even if you don't have daughters, men, you need to take the time to sit down with your nieces, your young cousins or sisters. You need to tell them these things and make them aware of how the world really works. It's for their own good and for the good of society. And you're young, so this is kind of like when I was younger, I didn't really understand this either. But like, men and women can't be friends. They're not your friends. The only reason no, we're talking, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to, no, 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 okay, yeah. And if you're, and, and I promise you, if you were 300 pounds, they would not be your friend well, this is Bro, see that woman right there who was on the opposite side of the camera saying, no, no, no. She refuses to believe that men don't actually like her for her, that they're actually just wanting to get her in bed. And if she did blow up to 300 pounds, most likely a lot of these guys would fall off. Here's why men and women can never truly be friends. It's because somebody's gonna wanna fuck somebody eventually. And if we're being honest, nine times out of 10, it's mostly the guy that's gonna wanna smash. Truly masculine men want to hang around truly masculine men. They share the same ambition. So if you're a guy that is being friends with a woman, either you're lying about your interest or you have a little less masculine energy than you think. So for this guy's take, there are things with which I agree and disagree. I don't agree that men and women can never truly be friends for reasons I've already explained or another one I'm gonna explain here in just a second. And in most situations with guy and girl friendships, it is one like what that girl explained earlier where she knows his intentions and he's just this orbiter hanging around hoping that he can eventually smash when in fact he has pretty much no chance of ever doing so. But in a lot of situations, which I think are actually more common than people realize, the woman isn't keeping her male friend around for potential protection or attention or whatever. She's actually keeping him around because she really wants to sleep with him. And in these instances, I'm talking about a situation where the man is an attractive ladies man type of guy. And she doesn't even necessarily view him as potential for a relationship. She solely wants to sleep with him. But because she doesn't actually want to cheat and risk ruining her relationship, what she'll do instead is keep this guy around through group situations or social settings where she still has contact with him in some way, even if he's not even thinking about her because he has enough women in his life that he doesn't have to worry about it. So if or when she and her boyfriend ever happen to go on a break, she has easy access to that guy and can make a swift move without actually just having to hit him up for a booty call and put herself out there like that. She can instantly turn on the flirting in one of these group situations, especially if there's alcohol involved and end up getting exactly what she wanted all along without having to act like that's what she truly wanted from the beginning. That way she can reserve her ability to say, it just happened, I don't even know how, if her and her boyfriend should happen to get back together. And as far as that clip we just watched where the guy says, if you're a man hanging out with a woman, you either have bad intentions or you're lying about your masculinity or whatever, that's absolutely not the case. And anybody who truly understands women or who has a lot of experience with them will very easily understand what I'm about to say. There are absolutely benefits to being friends with women, especially if you're in college or you're a younger guy who spends a lot of time at bars and that type of scene. In this this is the reason why. So when I was in college, I had this female friend from childhood who happened to be in a relationship. And one night she tells me she's gonna be out with these two other girls who were sort of acquaintances of mine. And I don't remember if they were in relationships or not, but they were involved with this event and they wanted me to show up to this bar where they were having this thing to support the cause. She tells me it's for the March of Dimes. And in my moronic brain, I'm imagining like a parade of tens marching around. So of course I wanna show up to this thing. Little did I know that the March of Dimes is actually like a nonprofit support group for the wellness and health of women and babies, pretty much the exact opposite of what I was imagining. Yeah, I'm an idiot, I know. But I show up and she's there with her two friends. We have a few drinks throughout the night and I'm being my typical obnoxious but somewhat charismatic self. They're laughing, I'm laughing, we're having a good time. And even though I know that there's no chance I'm gonna get with any of these girls, nor did I have any intentions of doing so, while we're carrying on in this booth, there are other women throughout the bar glancing over, most likely thinking, what is going on at that table that has these people having so much fun? Or more specifically, what is it about this guy that has these women even willing to entertain him with their time? 
time. Is he dating one of them? What's the deal here? So then when you approach their table with something witty like, hey, me and my friends over here are trying to settle a dispute. Can you help us out? Or you tell a funny joke or something, they're going to be far more willing to invite you into the table so that they can have the good time with you that they see you having with those other girls you already know. Essentially, they're gonna invite you in because they've already verified through social proof or pre-selection that you're worthy of the time of an attractive woman. And this is one of the few benefits of having attractive female friends, among others, which I'll explain in a later video because this one's running a little long. And this is something that a lot of men, especially in my opinion, men who don't actually have a lot of experience with women seem to overlook. Either that or they're just not smart enough to realize the psychology of how women think when it comes to mating and dating. And ironically, by being the type of guy who will spend time with women with whom you have no tension or expectations whatsoever, you actually can unintentionally create the scenario that I just explained a moment ago where the woman actually is interested in you but doesn't display it until the right moment arrives. Because like I said before, you have no interest in her, you're not actually even thinking about her, you're busy doing your own thing with other women, and by the very nature of the fact that you're not this desperate orbiter just hovering around her waiting for your turn, in her mind, that puts you in a position where you're more desirable. Unlike that guy in that street interview video we watched earlier, who obviously was just orbiting around that girl and she knew it, she even admitted it. In the situation that I'm describing here, you're not giving off these unattractive vibes of desperation which turn off a girl like nothing else. Just like dogs can smell fear, women can smell a desperate man. And when you don't put off that scent, you instantly become more desirable because they don't see you as some sort of potential threat or someone who's sticking around just to get something from them. But that's all I got to say about this. Let me know your opinions down in the comments. Click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with someone you think wants to see it. And check out my second channel for commentary on interesting and wild relationship stories. Till then, hope you all take care of yourselves. Support and be good to good women. Peace.